Good morning. Thanks for tuning in to WSKI Channel 17 Weather Report brought to you by Geppettos. Oh, man, it's going to be a good one out there today. We have a couple inches of snowfall this morning uh, from overnight. Uh, temperatures are seeming around like the mid-20s uh, down at the base and low 20s up top. Uh, we're going to get another 2 to 4 inches before the day is through. And uh, should we continue into tomorrow, possibly, we're going to have morning flurries once again. Mostly cloudy skies in the afternoon. Uh, warming up just a little bit with temperature in the, around 30 degrees, maybe low 30s uh, in the base area. And then mid-20s up at the summit. And pretty mellow wind, so it should be an awesome day. And looking forward into the weekend, it looks like partly sunny skies. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with temps in the mid-30s. Friday and Saturday, and then Sunday, just around 32 or 33 degrees. Uh, should be an awesome weekend to come up and enjoy some sunny skiing. And we head over to the Mountain Trail Report, brought to you by Birchwood Interiors. We have 81 trails and trail sections available for you. Uh, 68 of those trails were grooved last night. Uh, looking at powder and packed powder conditions. Uh, check out the grooming report. Looking at Timberline, Bridal Chain, Buckskin, Double Bitter, Spurline, Tote Road, King's Landing, Hayburner for those off the Super Quad, as well as Skitter and Comp Hill, Narrow Gauge, Sluice, Gandhi Line, Spillway, White Natro, and Wedge. Head over to the east side. It's looking like Choker, uh, Flume, Widowmaker, Ramdown, and Boomogger. Uh, the groomers had quite the feat of uh, trails last night. Uh, the uh, Haywire and Skybounds and uh, Sidewinder also got groomed out last night. 8.30 this morning, we're looking at Snubber, Sawduster, and Skidway uh, accessing the base area and the beginner terrain that we have available for you, as well as Double Runner East, uh, providing access to Lower Winter's Way, Boardwalk, and the lower parts of the mountain, uh, where you can find uh, quick access to the base lodge as well. Uh, head on up to Skyline and Super Quad at 8.30 a.m. to provide access to that intermediate and more advanced terrain. And then at 9 o'clock, we have Whiffletree and King Pine uh, bringing you up the uh, east side of the mountain and the King Pine Bowl area. Uh, it's probably still going to be a little crunchy in the uh, woods out there, so be careful. And around at, at 9 o'clock, we have Timberline and 3T as well. Of course, 3T is on demand due to weather and uh, wind conditions as well. And if you're looking for different activities to stay busy outside today in this uh, winter weather, you can head on down to the Outdoor Center for some cross-country skiing, uh, that's skate and classic styles, as well as an ice rink where you can get your uh, ice skates on down there and maybe play a game of pickup hockey. They're now featuring fat biking on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday from 2 to 6 p.m. Uh, they also have snowshoes available down there as well. And a wonderful cause that everyone can uh, donate to is the American Red Cross Blood Drive on Friday, December 20th from noon to 5 p.m. at the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel. Uh, that's a wonderful cause, and uh, they need donors as often as possible. Down at the yurt, while well, doing a um, rock and roll in the yurt with Elmore Twist Band, Saturday the 21st from 6.30 p.m. until 9.30 p.m. This is a BYOB event. Tickets are available $20 in advance and $25 at the door. Remember, that's down at the Outdoor Center, uh, right in the yurt on the left side. Uh, WSKI Channel 17 is brought to you by Snowfields Productions since 1986. And you can also check us out online at WSKITV.com, uh, Facebook.com forward slash WSKITV, on Twitter at WSKITV17, and on Instagram at WSKITV. We are the number one local source of entertainment as well as turning guests into locals, uh, making sure you know before you go.